Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. When do you stop saying Happy New Year? Anyway, most recently I went ahead and took part in Anmar Wynn's seven day challenge. Her seven day challenge was using watercolors and the prompts were quite simple. What you can't see right now is day one, but what I am working on is day two. She allowed you to go through the prompts in any way you desired and I just went down the list from top to bottom. And so day two was cookies and biscuits. This was really fun and pressure free. I really liked how the community on Instagram engaged with the posts that I had up and it was really interesting to see what other people came up with. So I'm curious to know, when was the last time you took part in a community challenge? I found that taking part in this challenge first thing at the beginning of the year has allowed me to set time aside to draw and paint without too much thought about posting it over on social media. It's been some time since I've posted anything art related on my page. I believe the last thing that I posted was an update, a life update. And if you're curious, go ahead and head over to my Instagram. But I did I was overthinking it. My next goal is to basically find another challenge to get me through the remainder of the month. But what I found is that people started suggesting things to draw. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave that down in the comments section below. I've been basically compiling a list to get me through the rest of the month. I'll be sure to share a flip through of what I end up with in my sketchbook towards the end of the month. And I really want to do the 100 day challenge. I don't know if I'm going to stick solely to watercolors just yet. Since I started out with watercolors, maybe I will finish it. I've got a few gouache that I've watered down in this illustration. So I don't know, we'll see. Throughout this video, you'll see that I have sped certain things up. I have slowed certain things down just to let you see how the process really is going as I'm drawing and sketching and painting. You'll also see that towards the end of the page, I got tired of like freestyling with just the paint. So I picked up a, a pencil and sketched out some cookies just to like figure out the rest of the layout. Um, Anmar actually sent me a video on my Instagram telling me that she loved how I was laying everything out. We chatted a bit in my DMs, which was really, really cool and a really nice surprise. I really appreciated her reaching out to me. Um, made me feel like I was connected to her in the moment. Um, just so you know, I'll be turning these into stickers. A few people have reached out and mentioned that they would like some. So if you are interested in getting these as stickers, don't forget to sign up for my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. And I can't wait to continue to grow with you guys and continue to share my process with you. Drawing for me has always been a really peaceful and therapeutic practice, and I'm hoping to basically revamp my channel. My two main focus umbrellas will be art and illustration and lifestyle. So you see, I've shared a few vlogs about traveling, but I'd also like to maybe do some tutorials here on YouTube for those people that are interested in art and illustration. If you have any suggestions of what it is that you'd like to see on my channel, I would love to chat with you down in the comments section. Let's get it going. Let me know what it is that you like that I've posted in the past. I'm just trying to basically revamp the YouTube channel and basically do this full time in tandem with Patreon and making my own products. That's the goal. As you can see, I went ahead and pulled out a few cookies and biscuits that I got for Christmas and went ahead and illustrated them. Um, growing up, my mom used to buy uh, the same cookies every year. It comes in a blue box. Um, let me know if you know which one I'm talking about. They come out and stack them in the front of the supermarkets. They're really good. They remind me of like shortbread cookies with sugar crystals on top. I can't remember the brand, but I'm gonna see if I can find a, maybe a link and put that in the, <laughs> in the description box. Um, but yeah. I wanted to say that you'll notice that I'm using different techniques. So this one right here is wet on wet, where you put down the wash of the water first, and then you go in and you put in your watercolor. 
And then I'm also using a little bit of gouache here and there. Anything that looks super opaque is gouache and it's not watercolor. But for the most part, this was a watercolor illustration. I'm also moving around the page to give other drawings some time to dry before I layer on top of it. So I just want to go ahead and pop in here and say that and let you guys know what it is that I'm doing. Maybe the next voiceover speed through video, I'll uh, walk through and talk about the process and techniques that I'm using. Let me know if you're interested in that in the comment section below. Anyway, I hope to see you guys soon. And the goal is to post weekly. However, I'm going to say that right now I'm going to post bi-weekly. So I'll see you in two weeks.